Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about Vortapt. This is a reverse osmosis water filtration system that goes under your sink and it actually plugs into a plug outlet and has a tankless system. So a lot of these things have a giant tank that you have to put underneath your sink. It takes up so much space. This one, zero tanks, people. Yes, this thing is absolutely amazing. It's high tech. It's got all the features you want. But is it going to give us that bottled water taste at home? That is the question. That's what I'm going to be looking for. So in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said reverse osmosis system. After that, we're going to be putting this bad boy to the at home Lucas test to figure out is it something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and splash into it. Okay, this is everything we had in the box. You got the main unit right here. You got some hardware over here. You have their power cable with the brick right there. You got the hosing, some more hardware here, and then you have the actual faucet itself looking really, really nice. I'm loving how smooth this metal is. And then it comes to a small little point right there. A little bit bigger than I would have thought, but it probably will look a little bit smaller once we get it in. Then the most important part is the instruction manual right here. Okay, let's go ahead and walk around this thing right quick. So here is the name of the company right there. Go around to the front here. This is made out of some really nice plastic. This looks like it's metal, but it's actually plastic as well as this middle part here is made out of some nice plastic there is the name of the company once more looks like their v is actually their logo right there that is really cool i'm loving the look of this thing it's so clean so elegant not a lot going on you come up to the top and this is where you have your pure water your waste water your tap water your purified water come around to the back down here and you have your power port right there and that looks like it might be a vent of some sort. I'm not quite sure. And then you have a little bit more information about this back here. Then you have your door that comes off over here. And then it exposes the three filter filter system. This is how you're going to take out the filters and put in the new ones and whatnot. So this door just simply allows you to get in and out. Okay, so first impressions of this guy, I'm gonna say it's actually really nice. I am uh, quite impressed. It is uh, very elegant looking, it's very clean looking, and uh, cannot wait to get it under the sink and get this thing installed. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I actually just removed my soap pump. I had the soap pump right in this spot right here. You just go underneath the sink, you unthread your bolt, pull out your soap dispenser down here. Okay, I'm very happy with the way that this installed. It went in super, super easily. Literally, you just had to thread a little nut up from the bottom, lock it into place, and away it goes. Very, very simple. Okay, so the first thing that you're supposed to do is take this PC pipe and you're supposed to cut it to fit. Okay, then your next pipe is going to go from the unit, of course, to the cold water over there. Okay, next thing you're gonna do is take off your cold water line. So remove that and then install that guy straight onto it and get it nice and tight. And then you're just gonna put your cold water directly on the top here. Okay, then what I would recommend is to turn the water back on in your house to make sure you don't have any leaks. So you know you tightened it all up correctly. I'm not seeing any leaks. That means I got the top and the bottom fully tightened up. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. You're gonna actually have to drill a hole. So basically, I've just picked this spot right here. I'm gonna set it right there and I'm gonna drill a hole in there. It says that you need to use a 1 4th inch drill bit. So this is where you're gonna have to be a little bit precise and very, very careful. So I'm just picking that spot because it's close and it should work just fine. Okay, you wanna triple check that you have the right drill bit. Okay, so that is what I did right there. And there is my hole. That was actually really, really simple. 
Okay, one thing they're not talking about is this little guy right here. This is very important. This goes up into there for your new faucet. So this is how you connect that little hose to the bigger hoses. Okay, just plugged it in after I got it fully set up and it's doing a bunch of stuff really quickly. It's flushing and now it's on standby. Oh, now it's working, okay. There we go, so we got that set up there. We got that fully set up over there. For all the water to come in. And then this is how my pipes look on the top. One thing I really love about this faucet is if you have a giant hydro jug, no worries, this thing is gonna fill it up with ease, no problem whatsoever because it is very, very large. You can see it right there. Okay, here we go, we have a giant humidifier tank and this guy is definitely going to be able to tackle it with ease, no problem whatsoever. That is so awesome. Okay, I wanted to take a quick minute to talk about this faucet real quick. So this thing is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the handle control right here. One thing I did learn in all my testing is you definitely wanna shoot your water towards the edge of your glass. So if you shoot it straight down the middle, I'm just gonna show you this for test purposes. It's gonna do this. Yeah, you see that? It just shot everywhere. So if you go at the side, kind of like you're pouring a beer or something, you're gonna go right like that, and you're actually gonna be able to go really, you're actually gonna be able to give it a good amount of force because you're pouring it at the side and not straight down in the middle. So that is definitely something that is a learning experience that once you figure it out, it's great. It's super, super simple. You literally just tip the glass to the side, send it down and away it goes. And as you can see, this thing fills up super, super fast. The little handle down here is absolutely amazing. It really does a phenomenal job of allowing you to get the exact control that you want. And because this thing is so tall, like I was a little bit leery. I was like, oh no, that, that's way too tall. But because it's that tall, you're actually able to fill up pretty much anything in here and it's absolutely amazing. It really does a phenomenal job and you can tuck it away if you're not using it. So you can actually have it completely tucked away. You can grab your normal kitchen faucet right here, tuck that out of the way, bring this back in. So this thing really does a phenomenal job. And this down here is built super, super solid. I'm very happy with the way that this all is built. It's made out of really solid metal and this you can really fine tune it. So you can really get in here and give it a little bit, a little bit more. So if you're trying to fill up the smallest little thing, I actually have my daughter's little spray bottle right here for her fake makeup kit. I actually use this to spray my house plants. So I'm gonna show you right here. You can actually fine tune this and not overflow this little tiny toy spray bottle. It is absolutely amazing. Okay, so for this portion, we're just gonna be doing a smell and sip test. So I'm gonna fill up this glass over here with this one, and I'm gonna fill up this with my kitchen faucet. This is not filtered water at all. It's straight from our local water source. So we're gonna do filtered and non-filtered. Okay, there you go. You can see the non-filtered is fuller than the filter. Okay, here we go. We got the two different glasses right here. This one is, of course, the filtered, and this one's non-filtered. So the first thing that I smell is definitely some water treatment. So you're, I'm smelling some chlorine. I'm smelling uh, some hard water smell in there. There's definitely a lot of odor that's coming out of this one. Of course, it looks crystal clear, and it's safe to drink. It's not going to harm you at all, but... The water treatment plants like to put chlorine in the water around this time of year. It's winter in Acton, Indiana. And there's definitely some smell of chlorine and a little bit other smells in there. I'm gonna go ahead and smell this one. Literally has no smell. I can just smell the cup itself, the glass. And the, you know, this is fresh out of the dishwasher. So it has a little bit of that smell, but there is no smell whatsoever from this at all. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, the first thing you notice is that this has a sweet taste to it. It definitely has this um, very pure, very uh, enjoyable taste. We're gonna give this one a taste. I know it's gonna taste gross. 
yeah, that has a that has a punch. It's very um, it's very bitter. It's got a bite to it for sure. This is definitely city water. If you did a blind taste test, people would pick this one day in and day out. This one actually, um, it kind of burns the throat a little bit. Uh, and once again, this is safe to drink. This one goes down so smooth, butter smooth down the throat, super refreshing. This one just has this harsh, <laughs> very, very harsh taste to it. And like I said, you could smell that chlorine. You could smell whatever they use to clean out uh, the water. Yeah, this one just has a zero smell to it. Zero smell. Mm. It's like night and day. The, the difference between these two is night and day. You could drink 15 of these. You might be able to get through one of these before you're like, ah, oh, that is some tough water right there. Where I live, we have hard water. So if you drink out of the same exact glass, day in and day out, your glass is literally going to turn a different color. It's gonna have water spots all over it and it's gonna get completely gunked up and it takes some serious cleaning equipment to get that hard water buildup off. What I noticed over the week and a half that I've been drinking this water is it does not coat the glass. The glass is not as gunked up from the hard water, which means this reverse osmosis is definitely removing a lot of this hard water from uh, the water. <laughs> Some people live in areas that do not have hard water and they don't know what, what I'm talking about right now, but it is a thing. Hard water is insane. It is something that you usually have to use a water softener to get rid of, but this definitely seems like it's getting rid of it without me having to buy an expensive water softener. Yeah, that's five out of five stars. If I if I put this in a in a bottle from a reputable bottling company, you would probably say, yeah, this is definitely bottled water. It's not tap water. It's not water that came from a filter in a house. But no, this is filtered water out of the sink. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm giving that five out of five stars. The taste of that water is absolutely amazing. Truly next level. All right, so I've been using this bad boy for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review. And let's just start off with the functionality of this machine. This thing is absolutely amazing. I am so impressed with this. One thing that I did learn that I didn't know right off the bat is they give you enough cable that you don't actually have to put this under your sink. This is not required for under the sink. What you can actually do is you can pipe these pipes uh, through your cabinets or wherever and get them into your sink. So if you are willing to drill through your cabinets, you can just send the, ca the hoses into the cabinets and not have to put this under the sink. I do not have a plug outlet under my sink, so I was not able to give this thing power in the cavity down here. So what I ended up doing, I ran an extension cord all the way around the bottom underneath, you can see it a little bit right there, underneath there, and then around here, and then I tucked it up over into here. So it just literally runs down underneath there, and you can't see it, but just a little bit right there. So it's really, really tucked away. I did notice that this thing will run a flush and it'll shoot it out here a couple times per day. So it definitely does its job. This thing has got an amazing ability to filter out the water. Reverse osmosis, 100%, five out of five stars. The taste of the water is next level, people. You're gonna be blown away. If you're someone like me who runs humidifiers all year long, I have a humidifier running in my bedroom every night 365 days a year. So this is gonna be a game changer for me because I was having to buy distilled water. And this basically will mimic distilled water in a sense. It's definitely better than a normal filter and it's definitely better than your tap water. The tap water is definitely, mine is full of hard water and it gunks up everything. It's really gross. So this thing is a game changer. It's absolutely amazing. I'm giving this thing five out of five stars. I'm just doing it. It's so awesome. It really does a phenomenal job. And there you go. You can hear it dumping out the water that's in there. It's doing a flush mode right there. Love this touch panel right here. 
super amazing, very clear. I love that I can open my cabinet and just see exactly where my PPM is at. Very, very nice. Um, the look of this thing is amazing. You're going to love it. It looks absolutely awesome. It's definitely something that when people come over, you're going to be like, yeah, check out my water filter system. Five out of five stars. Highly, highly, highly recommended to everyone out there. Buy it. All right, there you go. That's the Vortapped reverse osmosis system. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and collect that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. It's because of you guys, I surpassed 5K. Yes, people, going strong on my way to 6K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.